This review is on the documentary Class Action Park. I'm the angry guy. I'm going to tell you like it is, man. Seth Porges and Chris Charles Scott III were the directors for the documentary Class Action Park. John Hodgman was the narrator. Alison Becker was herself. And Chris Gethard as himself also. The documentary was about the legend of the world's most dangerous amusement park in Vernon, New Jersey. Woo, baby! The film kind of refers to Mallsville's underground connections to political maneuvers without really saying too much. The documentary focuses on the craziest amusement park known for insanely hazardous activities and the incredible lack of rules, man. The oversight back in the 1980s at the water park mounted a slew of injuries, crimes, and even death. Child safety concerns were non-existent out the window. <laughs> My family laughs their asses off America's funniest videos and the old TV show Wipeout. I don't. I never did. Because I always can imagine the pain the people on the show were going through. But, 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 when I started to watch the documentary Class Action Park, I continuously to laugh out loud. I'm not shitting you. For 15 minutes, I couldn't stop. I thought the neighbors were going to hear me. Maybe when I was watching the old Grangler film, I was disconnected from the people's agony of defeat. And that's what it was. What made it so funny for me were the people explaining actually how they felt when they were at the park. It was as if they were reliving their naive pre-adolescence experiences all over again. Their facial expressions were priceless, man. You could just see it. Personally, I enjoyed how the different rides were created, cartoonish or not. It was like, holy shit, the owner would pay an employee to test out a dangerous ride for the first time. And the owner would make it safer to the amount of injuries that occurred on the employee while testing a new ride. Can, can you imagine that, man? Wasn't anybody concerned about the people's safety? No. They said it was a badge of courage to walk around the park with big ass scrapes, deep gouges, or scratches on different parts of your body. It wasn't if you would get hurt. It was a question when you would get hurt. I guess that's what drew the large amount of people to the action park. Then I realized, as the film was going on, the owners were lucky. Someone didn't get killed. Then, towards the end of the documentary, I sobered up of what happened in the park. <laughs>